tempted the Satan with his schemes and his plans in Jesus' name. So I believe that you are still in the word and still in prayer because today is our day of prayer, the sweet hour of prayer, believing that God is going to release that which he has planned for your life and he has ordained for the glory of his name. Before we continue, we want to read our comments. We can see that people are still live and are still waiting, though we had a problem of the electricity, things that you cannot control, but glory to God, we have the electricity back. So comments coming from our sisters and brothers, we have Mam Lea Wanjala, amen. We have a sister, Mam Lily Waba, she says, amen, my sisters, Mary and Christabel, God bless all of you in his work. You too, God bless you, Mam Lily. God bless you, Mam Lea. We also have Naomi Talia, ready to destroy my enemies. Amen. And that is the spirit, Naomi, you are a woman of Vela. And she also continues to say that I rebuke the spirit of doubt in my life in Jesus' name. And may God do that thing you desire in Jesus' name. We have Sister Nilam Isa, tukupamoja na shukuru mungu kwa safari hii ya leo. Na nina imani, amen, ameenda jambo juu yetu. Am, amenena. I think you meant amenena. God bless you, Sister Nilam. And uh, Maxwell Wasike, amen, so powerful. God bless you, my brother. Maxwell Wasike, we have blessed Shirum. Have mercy on me, O oh God. We can see that this sister, she's in prayer. And may God have mercy on you. He's a God that has full of mercy. He chooses those he wants to have mercy on and compassion on. Mm -hmm. So today, may God have mercy on your life. In Jesus' name. Nekesa Anita, amen. We love you so much, ma'am. So receive more love. Amen. Some love. In Jesus' name. And uh, fear no, is not my portion in Jesus' name. It is not in Jesus' name. Damaris Mumbua, remember me, Lord. The Lord is going to remember you. Amen. Fear is not my portion in the name of Jesus. Nilam Isa, may it come to pass in Jesus' name. Fear is not our portion because fear comes from the enemy. It comes from him. He's the one who invented fear. But God has given us a sound mind, yes. full of spirit. And if you have his spirit, you have his courage, you have his strength in abundance in Jesus' name. We have also Katrina Sandy, amen. Shaza Gusa, amen. Dosh, amen. God bless you. Continue sending your comments. Send your prayer request. Anything that you want us to pray for you, send it. If you have a testimony, send it. Let us bless the Lord together. Remember, the gift is yours, but the glory goes back to God. You have to give a testimony for the glory of his name so that he may find another chance for you to receive another gift. In Jesus' name. So let us continue with the topic today about destroying the spirit of doubt and fear in our lives because it is not our portion. In Jesus' name. Karibu, Mami. Amen. Asante sana, Dede Christabel. Na pia tunashukuru wale wote ambao wako pamoja nasi kwenye mtandao. Bwana Mungu akapate kwa bariki. Kwa hivyo nilikuwa naendelea kusema ya kwamba Mungu haja kupatia roho ya uoga. God mm -hmm. has not given you the spirit of fear. Mm -hmm. God has given you destiny help us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Get lift us. Right mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. Get lift us. Men and women of influence who are going before you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. To help you where you cannot mm -hmm. by yourself. Where you can't make it. They are men ordained by God. Wale watu ambao wakiongea ata wafalme wanati. Maana wawu unawana sauti yako. Hayezi kasikika. Mungu wa meanda Haron. Ambaya akona fimbo. Itakayo geuka nyoka mbele ya fero. Mbele ya farao. Kwa hivyo usiogope. Praise the Lord. Mungu wa meanda. Watumishi wake kwa ajili yako. Leo tunateremuka kwa kambi ya washami, kwa kambi ya wamidiani, ili tukaweze kuangamiza kwa mkono wa mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Maana mungu alitumia mkono wa gidioni. Unapo endelea kusoma, unapata ya kwamba, wa hawa wa midiani waliekwa kwa mkono wa gidioni. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. 
God has not given you the spirit of fear, mm -hmm. but of love, mm -hmm. power, and sound Amen. mind. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to read the, the, from the book of 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 10. Let's begin from verses 4. The Bible says the weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. Praise the Lord. Amen. Which weapon are you using to fight your battles? The weapon you are supposed to fight with in this battle mm -hmm. do not belong to this world. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. And remember we have two kingdoms. The kingdom of God and the kingdom of Satan. And here you are standing representing the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. So the weapons you are using to fight are not of this world. Mm -hmm. But they come from the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I know the anointing of God is in you. Mm -hmm. Is upon you. Mm -hmm. Jesus said. The anointing of God is upon me. Mm -hmm. For God has anointed me. To set the captives free. Praise the Lord. Amen. The anointing breaks the yoke. Amen. So tonight we are ready to break every yoke. That is not of our kingdom. Mm -hmm. Because God's yoke is very light. Mm -hmm. You will be able to bear it. Mm -hmm. To carry it. Mm -hmm. But this heavy yoke has to be broken. In Jesus, in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. The weapons that we are fighting with are not the weapons of this world. Mm -hmm. Of the world. On the contrary. They have divine power. Mm -hmm. To demolish strongholds. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Silaha tunayo tumia kupigana vita. Sio zilaha ya dunia hii. Amen. Amen. Ni silaha iliyo na nguvu ndani ya Mungu wetu. Praise the Lord. Amen. Inaangusha kila ngome zote. Kila ngome ni silaha ambayo ina pull down strongholds. Stronghold ni ngome. Ngome ya shetani. Ngome ya mawazo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. A sound mind means Akili timamu. Mm. Inamanisha ya kwamba mawazo yala mbao yanafikiria vitu ambazo ni za binguni. Vitu ambazo mungu wameweka. Ukipata mtu ambaye siyo akili timamu huyo ni muenda wazimu. Na sisi siyo wenda wazimu. Bwana isu asifiwe. Amen. Tukona akili timamu. It deals with your mind. Praise the Lord. Amen. Kwa hivyo mungu anadili na mind yako leo. Kriste bela nacheka ni kisema ni wenda wazimu. Mbona Yesu asifiwe? Wewe si mwenda wazimu. Wewe ni mtu ambaye uko na akili timamu. Kwa hivyo fikra zako lazima ufikirie. Utakaa tu aje ya kwamba umelemewa Krista Belati. Wewe ni masikini utakaa leo wewe ni waombaomba kesho wewe ni si wewe ni mwenda wazimu. Unaomba kila siku hali yako haibadiliki. Na uko na akili timamu. Uwezi amka kwenda kufanya kazi. Mbona Yesu asifiwe? Praise the Lord. Lazima uinuke, uenda ufanye kazi, upate pesa, hali yako ibadilike. Hati naogopa ni kienda kuomba kazi huko wanataka Godfather na Godmother. Sijui kama kuna Godmother na God Grandfather na Grandmother. Sijui kama wako. Ondoka kwa sababu weo huko na mungu. Ulikunda kunijibu kama kuna Godfather na mother. Alasha, babangu utayari. utayari. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Ameumba bingu na jikila <laughs> kitu ni yake. Ni yake. Kwa hivyo mimi ni tajiri. Mbona uende kuomba omba. Ninakata iyo roya uende. Na uko na akili timamu dada Christabel. <laughs> akili yako ina function kama mwanadamu. Hmm. Na umekaa katika ile hali for so long. Yani uoni mbaka hata watoto wadogo wanakuja kukuchezea. Hawaoni kama u mtu akili yake iko timamu kweli. Wanakupitwa. Wanakupitwa. Watoto wadogo wanatoka nyuma, alafu unaanza kusema unimekaliwa, umekaliwa na nani? Umejikalia mwenyewe. Kwa hivyo leo tuko hapa tunakataa. Roho ya doubt tunaikataa. Roho ya uoga tunakataa. Sisi tumepewa akili timamu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. God is dealing tonight with your mind. Demolishing strongholds. We demolish arguments. Praise the Lord. Amen. 
and every pretense that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. Chochote kila ambacho kina jinua. Arguments, mabishano. Tunangusha. Kitu chochote kila ambacho kina bishano na wewe dada Christabel. Unapata mtu wakati ambapo wewe unataka kubarikiwa. Mtu anapita mbele yako anaanza kubishana na wewe. Sitaenda kutafuta tinani alichukua nyota yangu na kuambia leo leo kuna uregesho kama ni nyota inaregeshwa kama ni baraka inaregeshwa Bwana Yesu asifiwe vita vyetu sio vya nyama na damu tunapigana na falme unaposoma wa Ephesians 6 inakuambia ya kwamba haupigani na wanadamu Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ukiona kuna mabishano katika maisha yetu, katika maisha yako, ukiona kuna mabishano, Mungu anataka uingie katika anga ya kiroho. Pull down that argument. Weka chini hiyo roho inayobishana na wewe. Hiyo roho ambayo inakuzuia kufikia hatima yako. Etu ukichukua hatua hii nayo inachukua hatua hii. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Maana we ni mtu wa imani. Unajua risiki yako, dada Christabel ni yako, hautabishana na mimi. Risiki yangu ni yangu. Yako ni yako. Na ukiona naanza kubishana na risiki yako, naanza kubishana na wateja wako, kwanza kusema wateja wa Christabel wakuja kwa duka yangu, hiyo ni roho ya mabishano imeingia. Na lazima ni iweke chini. Maana kile Mungu amekuumbia upate leo, sifai kukichukua. Sifai kubishana na nguvu ya Mungu ndani yako. We are pulling down that argument of the enemy. Praise the Lord. And, and that reminds uh -huh. me from the scriptures. Mm -hmm. The way the Philistines came and took the ark of the covenant. Yes. What did God do? He decided to bring calamities, tumors, so that the ark may go back to the back Israelites. Where it belongs. Where it belongs. Yes. Kwa hivyo Mungu anaweza kukurejeshea uh -huh. yale ambao amekupatia kutoka uzao kutoka mali popote kutoka yes. vizazi from your great grandparents uh -huh. to your generation he can refund it back hakuna jambo ambalo hizi kufanya kama alikuwa analeta tumors magonjwa ili ark of the covenant irudi na hao wenyewe tu wa filisti ndo walirudisha kwa nini walisema hii kitu haifai kuka hapa mm -hmm. haitufai inatuletea madhara mingi mm -hmm. wacha turudishe kule ambako inafaa mm -hmm. na ikarudishwa amen mm. Na wakati ambapo unaona ya kwamba unabishana na mwenzako kibiashara dada mm -hmm. Christabel. Here we are saying that our weapons of warfare are not carnal, mm -hmm. but mighty in God. Pulling down every argument. Do not go and argue with your, your, your business partner, your, your business neighbor. Don't argue. Ingia ndani ya vita za kiroho. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Who knows? Hata unaweza situkia kesho alifunga duka ukifi, akisema ya kwamba sisiki vizuri. Ni re, uregesho Mungu anafanya. Watakuja kwa lile duka wapate hakuna tuacha turudi huku. Maana huyu hajaifunga. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. God has his own ways of restoring back what was stolen from you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Vile dada Christabel ameongea kuhusu the ark of the covenant. Mungu akona njia alisababisha kina dagoni wakaanguka na wakavunjika vunjika. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kusudi lake lilikuwa ya kwamba ark of the covenant has to go back where it belongs. Praise the Lord. Amen. Your business has to be restored back to where it belongs. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hata mtu achukue biashara yako namna gani? I'm telling you tonight there is restoration. In the spiritual realm, there is restoration. God is restoring back. God is bringing it back. God is bringing your children, your sons, your daughters back. God is bringing back your finances. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. One servant of God amazed me yesterday as I was listening to the word of God. Then he said, do not keep on looking unto the closed door. If the door is closed from inside and you want to get in, don't even compromise with a person that is inside. Just look back and see every door that God was able to open. If God was able to destroy Pharaoh's army, what is Jericho before him? Remember how God destroyed the, uh, the, the army of Pharaoh. 
Then call on that same God who never changes. Whom his pattern keeps on changing. The Bible calls him the God of Abraham. As he worked in Abraham, it's not the same way he worked in Isaac. It's not the same way he worked in Jacob. Call on that God. He has an, a, a pattern of opening that closed door for you to enter even without your force. Praise the Lord. We are pulling down every argument. We are pulling down every pretense. We are pulling down everything that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. We are bringing it down. Praise the Lord. Who can stand before our God? No one. Our God is so great, mm. mighty in power. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. A God of David who enabled a small boy to conquer a huge Goliath just with a stone, one stone. Mm. One stone gave David victory. Praise the Lord. Amen. One stone made David to overcome the Philistines. Lakini ni lazima usikie kwa masikio yako. You have to feel it and say it's too much. I want to come out of this. And I thank God because of those people who are sending messages and saying, Mary, I, I spend sleepless nights. I'm tired. I'm tired. I want to experience sleep. Because God gives sleep to them that he loves. I want the, to experience the love of God in me. Praise the Lord. When are you going to experience the love of God? And the love of God is already with us. His kingdom has already come. Hallelujah. Amen. Ufalme wa Mungu tayari umesha kuja kwetu. Mm. Wewe ni lini utashuhudia ufalme? Ni lini utakula kama mfalme? Dada Christabel, tunashinda kuulizana. Ni lini tutaletwa katika meza ya wafalme? Ni lini tutakula kama wafalme? Inaanza leo. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Inaanza leo. Kama haujawahi experience usingizi leo utalala. Maana tumeshinda hapa tukiomba. Kama umedumu katika roho ya umasikini, leo unaanza kuhesabu hata wewe pesa na itapita hata kiwango ambao utakuwa unapata. Unajua dada Christabel nakumbuka jambo moja ya kwamba kwa maisha yangu nilikuwa ni sijawahi shika elfu kama mia moja unless ni loni nimechukua. Na last year Wakati ambapo nilikuwa nimekaa sina kazi sina mshahara sina chochote nikapiga tu magoti chini na nikaomba niliitwa meeting na mtu ya kwamba Mary nataka kukutana na wewe tulitoka hapo na mume wangu kama tumebeba 300,000 Kenyan money Amen. yani ile noti ya zamani Amen. ya elfu, 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 mm. mia tatu. Mm. Nilikuwa sijawahi shika mume wangu akaniuza tunaenda aje kwa nyumba ama kwa banga nikamwambia twende tu kwa nyumba. Mm. Tu kaziweka kwa koti na kwambia kila siku nilikuwa naziangalia na hesabu <laughs> narudisha. <laughs> Mungu alitenda. Yale sijawahi ona. Nilikuwa sijawahi fikisha hata elfu mia moja na mtu amekupatia mia tatu. <laughs> hey. Uliona. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Wapendwa niliambia Mungu wale wanasema timeri hana kazi si wakuje ni washuhudie Praise the Lord Hao masanbalati wote na matobias na matobias <laughs> Eh hey. Na tena wakati huo ndo nilikuwa napanga lounge na hiyo si haikuwa ti pesa ya lounge lounge nayo tena watu walikuwa wanatoa nikapata like 150 Amen. Nikienda siku ya launching yenyewe, mm. nikapata more than 150 na kumbe Christabel. <laughs> hey, sijawahi shika pesa kama hiyo kwa mkono wangu. Amen. Kwa hivyo nilishanga na leo kama haujawahi. Kama ulikuwa hujawahi kama mimi yangu ilikuwa last year. Pokea. Pokea kwa jina la Yesu Kristo maana nishawahi shika niko na hiyo upako ya kushika zaidi ya hiyo pesa. Umeonja. Na nimeonja utamu wa kuhesabu elfu na kwambia nilikuwa na hesabu naweka kwa kitanda nikiona mtu anabisha mlango narudisha haraka maana najua baba atakuja niweze ni nini unafanya Mbwana Yesu asifiwe Praise the Lord leo 
ni yako. Mimi nishapita hapo. Nimeona mamilioni. Na kitu fani ni si kwa nimetabiriwa na mtu yote ya kwamba unaenda kupata pesa fulani. Nilipiga magoti. Nikashusha mbingu. Nikasema huyu Mungu ako wapi ule ambaye huwa anabariki hata watu bila kazi. Is when I received 300,000 cash Kenyan money. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Ni nini ngumu na Mungu Kristo ah, bwana? Hakuna. Naona mtu leo akianza kuhesabu kama mimi akiweka kwa kitanda anarudisha kwa koti anaweka kwa longi kwa jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu aliye haipokea baraka yako utoke katika hiyo hali Mungu akupeleke katika hatima yako na nimechoka kusikia ujumbe wa watu wa Mungu vile wanateseka ndio maana nimekuja leo ya kwamba niombe na we so we are going to pull down every stronghold we are going to pull down every argument we are going to put it down under our foot and even tremble upon it we are going to tremble it in the name of jesus christ nothing is too hard for our god he is a god of all flesh what is it that you see is very hard with him praise the lord amen sasa ninakujanga across some people you, you, you meet somebody says you know mary in my life i've never touched 5000 shillings and these are 5000 Praise the Lord. Na shangao unasema 5000. Atae sijawahi fikisha hata mshahara ya 5000. Ikifika 5000, magonjwa inakuja, shida inakuja, pesa inaenda. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Leo hiyo limitation, hiyo mstari ambao shetani amekuwekea ya kwamba you cannot cross it. Today you are crossing that line in the name of Jesus Christ. You are crossing that line. But this is what I want to say before you cross that line. You have to be right in the ways of God. Amen. Nilikuambia sitaki kukudanganya. Ititumwa sadaka ili ukaweze kukutana na mtu akupatie 300. I just want to speak the truth. I walked right in the ways of God. Na kwa barabara ya Mungu kulikuwa na 300,000 kwa hiyo siku moja kwa ajili yangu mm. na zikaendelea kuingia na kuingia na kuingia mm. mpaka wa leo mm. sijawahi omba sijawahi kopa mm. kwa sababu ya Kristo Yesu mm. amenilisha kama ndege wa angani mm. hakuna jambo ngumu na wewe asante sana dada yangu amen that makes us reflect on the faithfulness of the lord that he is not a respect of persons the way people think that you cannot reach to that level if at all they reached that level and they think that you cannot reach our god is not a respect of persons Amen. he can make you reach to a more higher level more than them because he's a faithful god so what our sister has just enlightened to us is that just be right in your ways pray forgive don't take human beings as your enemies satan is your enemy and ask god how is this person fighting me it is the devil who has managed to find a way into that person so cast that demon and you are going to be set free remember we are not fighting flesh and blood we are fighting that evil spirit and god is going to make you become an overcomer a woman and a man of valor amen so our sister wants to pray and also wants to take your request straight to the lord remember we began by thanking the lord and acknowledging his presence that how beautiful at the feet of those who bring good news to the children of god to receive deliverance redemption healing name it all and the most important thing to receive christ as your personal savior remember receiving christ is your own secret it doesn't matter the way you have received him It is not a must for you to tell people the way Christ is in your life. Let people see and make it a secret between you and God. Remember it is a personal relationship not with other people but with you and your creator. So may God bless you as you go to prayers. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Wenda uko pale unasema ya kwamba umepitia yale mambo ambayo hata mimi nilikuwa napitia wakati mmoja ya kukosa kushika hata 1100 kwa mkono 
kwako labda hata ni elfu moja ama mbili ama tatu God is going to surprise you. I've told you God is sending destiny helpers to you. Get lifters. Hiyo malango ambao unaona ya kwamba hauwezi ukainua. Mungu anatumana mtu akuinulie hayo malango. Mungu anatumana mtu ambaye anaenda kukusungumzia mbele ya farao kama unaogopa. Mungu anatumana. Kwa hivyo usiogope, usikuwe na shaka. God is going to be of help to you. Amen. Na tumeshinda hapa tukiomba mpaka haya masaa najua ya kwamba Mungu amesikia maombi yetu wala ambao mlitangulia kutuma maombi yenu mapema tuliaombea na tunazidi kuomba kwa utukufu wa jina la Bwana naamini ya kwamba wiki hii unaingia katika baraka yako. Kwa hivyo nataka tuombe. Nataka tuombe na wale watu ambao wamepitia shida ya maisha, shida ya kindoa, shida ya fedha, umekuwa ya kwamba hauwezi fikia hatima yako, tunapoomba Mungu akutumie msaada. Maana hata nami alinitumia msaada. Mahali singeweza kufika, bado anatuma hata mpaka wa leo. Ya kwamba enda ufikishe meheri mahali fulani. Enda ushike meri na Kristo bila wanataka wafiki ngambo ile ingine. Na tunashikwa mkono tunafika ngambo ile ingine. Na tunapofika pale sio mwisho. Tena tunashikwa mkono tunasongeshwa hatua nyingine. Ndio maana leo unaweza kutuona kwa mitandao, kwa YouTube na kwa Facebook. Na ninaamini na ninatabiri mimi ni mtumishi wa Mungu ya kwamba kesho na kesho hiyo ingine utatuona kwa runinga. Amen. Na utatusikia kwa redio. Amen. 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 Maana hakuna jambo ambalo haliwezekani mm. na Mungu wetu. Kwa hivyo unapojitayarisha nataka tuombe usipige simu yako saa hii saa hii ni masaa ya maombi kwa wale wanapiga simu. I'm sorry saa hii ni masaa ya maombi nataka tuombe popote ulipo mm. nataka tuombe. Mm. I want us to pray. Believe as we pray. Mm. Amen. Kama haujampokea Kristo, taka useme maneno haya nyuma yangu. Sema Bwana Yesu, nisamehe dhambi zangu. Nakiri mimi ni mwenye dhambi, nahitaji msamaha. Futa jina langu. Toka katika kitabu cha mauti. Mauti ya kifedha. Mauti ya maisha. Mauti ile ya milele. Futa jina langu baba kutoka huko na uandike jina langu katika kitabu cha uzima wa milele katika kitabu cha biashara ya milele katika kitabu cha ndoa ya milele katika kitabu cha maisha mazuri asante Yesu kwa kuniokoa na kuniponya kutoka katika ufalme wa giza na kunileta katika ufalme wa nuru na katika ufalme huu wa nuru nipatie kibali cha kuonyesha sifa yako wewe Mungu ambao umenitoa katika ufalme ule wa giza nami nitaonyesha sifa yako na nitakutukuza milele asante kwa upendo wako na uokovu wako Kristo naomba natakuamini wacha sasa tuombe mahitaji yetu everlasting father creator of heavens and earth mm. we come before you mm. we repent our sins that we did knowingly and unknowingly mm. that you may forgive us we pray for your favor mm. mercy mm. rehema zako bwana ndio tunaomba jioni ya leo turehemu maana wengine wetu tumekuwa na viburi mm. na kutokuamini kazi ya msalaba mm. na kutokuamini mm. njia yako baba mm. na ikachangia katika biashara zetu kuanguka ikachangia katika ndoa zetu kuporomoka tumekuwa watu wa viburi tumekuwa watu wa majivuno bila kujua ya kwamba baba adui anaangalia ni wapi udhaifu wetu ulipo niposa akaweze kutupiga vita tumeangalia na macho ya kibinadamu tukaona kana kwamba tunapigana na wanadamu tukasahau kuwa vita vyetu sio vya nyama na damu baba hayo yote yakachangia Jawabu letu kutofika haraka. Mm. Danieli aliposimama katubu dhambi 
za wana wa Israeli na mababu wa Israeli Mungu ulimusikia na ndio maana tuko mbele zako leo ya kwamba kuna dhambi zilizotendwa na mababu zetu yamechangia sisi kutofika katika hatima maana kuna watu waliokufa kama hawakuonja mazuri wamesimama mbele yetu na watu hao wanainuka hata kupitia majirani wanainuka kupitia marafiki sisi tunasahau baba njia ya vita tunaingia kwanza kupigana na majirani wetu tunaingia kwanza kupigana na marafiki wetu bila kujua ya kwamba tunapigana na maroho hayo yote yamechangia baba sisi kutofika katika hatima zetu kutotembea baba katika njia yako we ni Mungu naye tafuta utakatifu. We ni Mungu naye utafuta ukamilifu na unyofu wa moyo. Tumekuwa watu wenye dhambi. Tumekuwa watu baba hata tunasimama kwa madhabahu yako. Na ili hali Mungu wangu Daudi anasema, "My sin is ever before me." Dhambi zetu zimekuja mbele zetu. Zimekuwa baba kama nguzo ya kutuzuia kufika katika kanani yetu. Isaya anasema kinachotutenga na wewe ni dhambi zetu. Mkono wako si mfupi baba kutufikia wala sikio lako si nzito ukose kusikia maombi yetu bali ni dhambi zetu ambazo zimetutenga na wewe na jioni ya leo tukajiona kana kwamba baba tuko sawa tukasimama juu ya madhabahu yako mikono yetu ikawa imemwaga damu isiyo na hatia vinywa vyetu vikawa vimeshiriki masengenyo Baba tunaomba msamaha. Nasimama baba kwa pengo na kwa niaba ya watakatifu wako ambao shetani amechafua mavazi yao, ameyachafua kwa anasa, ameyachafua kwa usinzi. Ni watumishi wako wengine baba. Wamekanyaga katika madhabahu matakatifu ikawa ni vita vya kiroho Jehova ambavyo wewe Mungu haujaweza kutuamulia. Maana ukiangalia mavazi yetu wewe ni Mungu usiadumu katika dhambi. Baba tunakuomba uturehemu. Tunaomba baba ukatusafishe tena. Maana sioni la kutuzuia tukitembea katika njia yako tukose kubarikiwa. Zaburi moja moja inasema mubarikiwa ni yule asiyekwenda katika njia ya wakosaji, wala asiyesimama katika njia ya wasio haki, wala asiyekaa kwenye barasa la wenye misaa. Tumetembea kutafuta baraka baba katika mikono ya watu. Tukasahau ni wewe Mungu ulie na uwezo wa kubariki. Tumekusahau Bwana. Tumekuweka kando ya maisha yetu tumekuweka kando baba ya njia zetu tumekuweka kando Jehova ya jamii zetu e Mungu na sisi tunasema tunangoja baraka Mungu kumbe hauko uko mbali nazi e rakata boshendere bozae rikanta la boza yeketelema rakata bashendere bozae Mungu aonae ndani baba we uone nje vile wanadamu tunaona una hukumu baba hukumu wako ni wa haki Mungu wangu hukumu wako hauna kuonea wewe ni Mungu usiyeonea mwanadamu you are a righteous judge oh god you are a righteous judge Jehovah you are a righteous judge my father you do not take bribe god that we may say oh father you have forgotten us you have been bribed baba wewe uchukui hongo wewe unaangalia ndani baba unaangalia ndani ya moyo unaona vile mwanadamu alivyo baba na kuogopa na kuogopa na kuogopa yesu na kuogopa na kuogopa baba naogopa huku wako naogopa matendo yako naogopa baba jinsi unavyotenda na kuogopa yawe na kuogopa bwana nikikumbuka mkono wako jinsi ulivyo ajabu mungu wangu naogopa baba naogopa ni shiriki uovu nipatane na ghadhabu yako mungu naogopa bwana wa majeshi nikose kutembea katika njia yako nishindwe kufika katika hatima yangu baba hey rakata boshendere bozaya He Mungu naogopa baba naogopa kukukosea baba nikose kufika katika hatima yangu naogopa kutokusimama na wenzangu kwa maombi baba ili Mungu unaposhuka kuhukumu useme Mary ulikuwa wapi nilikuweka kama bawabu nilikuweka kama watchman juu ya watoto wangu unaponena na ukweli wasiposikia damu yao itakuwa juu yao na wakisikia utakuwa umewaokoa na 
usiponena nao na mimiao itakuwa mikononi mwako Yesu we naogopa baba kutokupea na ujumbe wako shilo Wewe ni Mungu wa upendo Wewe ni Mungu wa upendo ambaye haukuzuilia mwanao wa pekee Je baba utashindwa kutupatia vyote tunavyotaka kupitia njia ya Yesu Kristo Kama haukumzuilia Kristo katika maisha yetu Kama ulimtoa baba kuwa ondoleo la dhambi zetu pamoja na yeye utashindwa kutupatia kile ambao tunakuomba baba Mungu wangu naleta mahitaji ya watoto wako mikononi mwako Nakiria kwamba baba sisi hatufai Nakiria kwamba Mungu tumeshindwa kufika katika hatima zetu maana kuna roho ambazo zimesimama mbele yetu tumekosa kuwa na utifu baba mpaka vile Gideoni alitii sauti yako nipo ulichukua midianu kawaweka katika mikono yake na Gideoni akawaangamiza na wakaisha wote Jehova Falme wa vita ni wewe Mungu wa amani ni wewe Mungu wa baraka ni wewe Hakuna Mungu mwingine baba tunayeabudu ila ni wewe Yesu wewe Yesu wewe Yesu wewe Yesu wewe Yesu wewe Yesu ni jina pekee tulilopewa ya kwamba kwalo kuna uokovu kwa ajili ya mwanadamu E baba nalilia nafsi za watu wanaoangamizwa na ndoto mbaya usiku baba nalilia hizo nafsi na wokovu wa hizo nafsi baba iko tu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo ndio maana nimekuja kwamba ili baba tukuzwe ndani ya mwana nipiga magoti yangu baba mbele zako na nikuita Yesu onekana onekana baba kwa ajili ya watu wako onekana shilo kwa ajili ya watoto wako na kuita shilo maana kwako ndiko kila mi- ki itapiga magoti na itakiri ya kwamba Kristo wewe ndiwe Bwana na mahali ambapo ana alifika Shilo jawabu la maombi yake ikapatikana ndio maana nakuita Jehova Shilo Baba jioni ya leo kuna wala ambao ndoa zao zinapitia vilio kuna single mothers sio kwamba wakutamani kuwa katika ndoa Walitamani baba wakae katika ndoa lakini kwa sababu kuna maroho zile zilizokuwa ndani ya maanti zile zilizokuwa ndani ya shosho baba zinadai na kusema wewe ni nani ukufie katika ndoa na ili hali sisi hatukufaulu kukufia katika ndoa hizo roho zote umesema vita vyetu sio vya nyama silaha zetu za vita sio vya dunia hii baba kupitia njia ya Yesu Kristo mwanao wa pekee na nguvu ya roho mtakatifu ninashusha hayo mamlaka yote chini ya miguu ya tukatika jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu aliye hai Kuna maroho za umaskini zinazolia Baba naposoma maandiko yako katika Isaia moja Yesu Kristo unakiri ya kwamba nimekuja kuwaweka maskini wawe huru. Una waweka huru kutokana na roho ya umasikini ili wakaingie katika utajiri wako. Neno lako laniambia ya kwamba Bwana, ulikufa kifo cha masikini, ulikufa kifo cha mlaaniwa ili sisi tukapate kuwa matajiri. Na baraka yako hakuna siku hata moja imekuja ikiambatana na machozi na kilio. Kama ni baraka ya Mungu inakuja na utajiri, kama ni baraka ya Mungu inakuja na kupanuliwa kama ni baraka ya Mungu inapanua mahema na hata inasababisha mtu ambaye anaishi kwa single room anakosa kutoshea anasema nataka kuhamia one bedroom na inamsababisha ya kwamba nataka nijenge mansion yangu maana ni baraka ya Mungu kila roho ya umaskini baba ondoa kila roho ya umaskini ondoa Roho ya ufukara ondoa. Naomba upako wako jioni ya leo. Ukapate kuvunja kila nira. Ukapate kuvunja nira ya umasikini. Ikapate kuvunja kila nira ya ndoto mbaya. Ikapate kuvunja kila nira ya kilio. Ikapate kuvunja kila nira ya uovu. Nira ya nasa, nira ya usinzi. Ikapate kuvunjika katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Mwana wa Mungu aliye wako. Saidia watu wako baba. Saidia watu wako baba. Huu mzigo wa utasa umekuwa mzito. 
vipi mama naondoka katika nyumba naacha mali anaacha nyumba aliyejenga kwa miaka anaacha vyombo vyake alivyonunua kama mama wa nyumba kwa sababu ya roho ya utasa Mungu wangu e. Yesu na kuita Yesu na kuita Yesu na kuita Yesu guza Sofi guza watu wako guza Elizabeth guza Anna guza Anna guza Rebecca guza watu wako baba guza E Mungu Natamani wakifika kwenye lango baba uwazuilie uzema rudi umwezi ni wako kama vile malaika alivyoambia Sara kamwambia mwakani tutakurudia na we utakuwa na mwana Isaac mwana wa ahadi baba lipi aliwezekani kwako bwana lipi aliwezekani kwako baba lipi aliwezekani kwako bwana mama analia mbona niache nyumba yangu akiangalia nyumba nasema mbona niache kitanda changu cha ndoa takatifu niliingia katika hii ndoa nikiwa bikra e, mungu wa israeli uko wapi baba wamehangaika wakikuita wamekutafuta ta kwa manabi wakasa wakaingia mpaka kwa nyumba za waganga Yesu nakuita tazama wale ambao wanalia machozi usiku na mchana Yesu nakuita Yesu nakuita Yesu nakuita kwa jina lako tusaidie Yesu nakuita kwa jina lako unaniambia kwamba utatuombea kwa Mungu baba wewe ndio unasema utatuombea kwa Mungu baba wewe ndio unasema unatuombea kwa Mungu baba Hey hey Yesu hey Yesu e moyo wangu Yesu hey Yesu usilie tena ah moyo huyo tasa usilie tena ninajua shida yako na mimi nitaitatua eh bila Yesu mimi ni mtu bure bila Yesu mimi ni mtu bure Baba yetu, watu wako wewe. wametembea baba hey, yes, watu wako wametembea wameenda hey, kwa nyumba yes, za manabii wako wamewatabiria hmm. lakini kuna maroho wanaporudi nyumbani hmm. maroho zile bado zinawangojea hey. baba zalisha huyo tasa leo guza hilo tumbo leo baba hey. guza hilo tumbo leo jehova hmm. na ana alipotoka katika dhabau la shilo hmm. biblia inasema alipomjua mme wake ile kawaida ya ubinadamu hmm. alishika mimba oh, yes. mungu aishie milele usiku wa leo baba hey, natabiri yes. usiku wa leo baba natabiri hey. usiku wa leo baba natabiri hey, kupitia yes. upako wako juu yangu ninatabiria watu wako natabiria watu wako watapata kupokea watapata kupokea sauti yako inazalisha dubu ja ngwani Yesu sauti yako baba ukisungumza tu dubu wanajifungua ukinena tu baba ukinguruma tu hata ukikohoa tu baba dubu wanajifungua nani kama wewe muumba bingu vyote viliumbwa ndani mwako kila mwanadamu maisha yake yako katika mikono yako unajua baba hesabu ya siku yetu unajua hesabu ya nywele yetu unajua hesabu ya mayai ya tumbo unajua baba tayala yamezuiliwa unajua Mungu uko na uwezo kuna uwezo baba uko na uwezo baba kuna uwezo wa kuregesha kuna uwezo wa kulipisha Amen. god hatuendi kupigana vita sisi tunaenda kama jehoshefati mm. tunaenda kusifu hey, moyo wangu hey, usilie tena hey, moyo wangu hey, usibabaike Hey, yesu moyo wangu hautalia tena unaye Mungu eh hey, anayekujali Yesu we Yesu mwana wa Mungu hey yote hey, hey unaye Mungu anayeweza yote hey Yesu wewe ni Mungu wewe ni baba wewe ni mwana wewe ni roho Shugulika baba shugulikia, shugulikia hicho kilio shugulikia, shugulikia hayo machozi shugulikia hiyo watu. nyumba ona huyo mama ameishi maisha ya upweke mm. amekuwa ndiye anapata watoto lakini mm. anakosa ndoa Mungu kila kikutana na mwanaume ni mimba anabeba na imekuwa ni kicheko katika kijiji ya kwamba huyu ni watoto tu mm. huyu 
ameza kila mtoto na baba yake mm. baba simamisha hiyo roho uko mm. na nguvu uko na uwezo mm. Patie mume wa maisha yake. Patie mume wa maisha yake. Patie watoto baba. Patie watoto baba. Patie hiyo nyumba jina. Patie hiyo ndoa jina. Patie hiyo ndoa jina. Nimeona ukitenda baba. Nimeona ukitenda. Watoto wako wanalia. Mama amefikisha miaka msini anasema sijapata ndoa bado na mtumainia Mungu. Mungu uko na uwezo. Uko na uwezo. Uko na uwezo. Uko na uwezo. Locate that husband wherever he is. Locate him for our sister. Locate that woman wherever she is. Locate her for our brother. Locate her for our brother. Holy Spirit of God. Locate her for our brother. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Hakuna jambo linalo kushinda Bwana. Unajua shida zetu na we utazitatua bila wewe sisi ni watu bure bila Yesu sisi ni watu bure aliingia roho ni mwangu kanipa kutulia kanambia meri mwanangu usilie lie tena aliingia roho ni mwangu kanipa kutulia kanambia ewe mwanangu usilie lie tena nimejua shida zako na mimi zatitatua bila Yesu mimi ni mtubure bila Yesu mimi ni mtubure Yesu we bila wewe baba sisi ni bure Santi Yesu. Sisi ni bure Bwana. Mm. Ndio maana tunakutaja kila mara Yesu. Mm. Tukianguka Yesu, mm. tukilala Yesu, mm. tukiinuka Yesu, mm. tukisimama Yesu. Yesu, yesu ndio njia pekee tuliyopewa ya wokovu wa maisha yesu, yetu. Yesu, wokovu yesu, wa kutokana na roho yesu, ya uoga. Yesu, wokovu wa kutokana na roho yesu, ya uoga. Yesu, wokovu yesu, wa kutokana na roho ya shaka. Yesu, yesu, yesu mwana wa Mungu. Yesu mwana wa Mungu. Yesu mwana wa Mungu. Yesu wa Nazareti. Yesu mwana wa Mungu. Yesu mwenye mamlaka zote. Mwenye uwezo. Ni jina lako Yesu. Mwenye nguvu. Yesu. Jina lenye amani. Eh, Jehova. Ni Yesu. Peana amani katika hiyo ndoa. Mm. Peana amani katika huo upweke. Mm. Peana baba. Peana. Maana najua wakati umefika ambapo unataka watoto wako waanze kuvuna matunda ya wokovu wao. Mm. Furaha ya wokovu wao. Amen. Ndio maana baba Daudi akasema. Mm. Take not away your holy spirit from me. Mm. Restore Amen. unto me the joy of salvation. Amen. Let your people have that joy. Let your name. people have that joy. The, the joy of, of salvation. Eh. The joy of salvation. Amen. Save your people, Lord. Mm. From that spirit of infirmity. Mm. Save your people, Lord. Save from them. every spirit of doubt. Save, Save your people, Lord. Save Let them rejoice mm. in the salvation of our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Name. You paid a sacrifice. You, you were made a sacrifice for it, God. Amen. That we may rejoice. Hey. That we may rejoice. Amen. Do not let our enemy triumph. Amen. God, let, do not let your enemy triumph. Amen. Do not let our enemies triumph over us. In Jesus name. Strengthen us Lord. Strengthen Be us. our strength. Oh, yes. Be our shield. Oh, yes. Be our buckler. Amen. We have abided today in the secret place oh. of you O oh, our God. Mm -hmm. Shield us Lord. Oh. May we find refuge mm. in your shadows because God. You May we find fortress. refuge my Father. Our Be our fortress. buckler. Hey. In our fortress, oh God. Remove the spirit of fear. Mm. Remove the spirit of doubt hey, that flies at night, hey. that flies during the day. Mm. God, remove it in, in the name of name. Jesus Christ. May we receive that gladness of your oil, my we Father. The oil of gladness, God. Every of spirit Jesus. of heaviness, my Father. Remove it, Jehovah. Remove it. Replace it with joy. Replace it with gladness. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we love you. We love and we you. exalt your name. We, exalt we thank you, Lord. Thank for you, you have heard our prayers. Amen. Jesus Christ, Amen. as you entered... Amen. 
as you appeared in the tomb of Lazarus, mm. this was your prayer. Mm. You said, Father, mm. I know you do hear me. Mm. And here today we pray. Mm. We know that God, you have answered us last week. Oh, yes. We want to remind our enemy mm -hmm. that a God who answered, who restored marriages we'll last week, again in Jesus a God who name. opened doors for our sister's we'll jobs, again our Jesus brother's name. jobs, he will do it again. He will do it again. We are not afraid are not of afraid. your schemes, Satan. Mm. We are not ignorant are not of the ignorant. weapons you are using. Mm. You are using, you are using the, the weapon of fear. Mm. You are using the weapon of doubt mm. to drain us mm. from the presence of God. Mm. We are not going to accept it. Our Father is going to avert all those weapons. Mm. And we are going to emerge victory mm. in the presence of God. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you. you for overcoming Thank it, you. God, for Thank us. You. Thank you, Lord. Thank, Thank you. you for giving us victory. Thank you. Thank you because we are strong through you who strengthens us. Thank you because greater is he who is in us than the one in the world. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Asante, Yesu. Asante kwa kutushindia. Asante kwa kutupatia ushindi. Kwa maombi ya siku ya leo. Asante kwa kujibu maombi yetu. Asante kwa kuregesha hiyo ndoa. Asante kwa kupeleka huyo ndugu na dada katika hati mayao. Asante kwa hiyo nyumba mba inaanza kujengwa sasa sa hivi. Asante. Sio kiroho tu bali inaanza hata kumanifest physically. Asante. Asante kwa huyo dugu ama dada amba napokea visa yake ya kwamba tunakungojea wakati ndege zinaanza kuruka. Asante. Utakuwa wakwanza kuruka. Asante. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Asante mungu kwa sababu ya kutupatia cheti cha ushindi Asante. kwa maombi ya siku ya leo. Asante, Asante buwana. Because you say ask anything in my name mm. and my father will do it for you. Mm. Thank you, Jesus, because we are asking this Thank in your you. name. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for all Asante. who have been with us, God, Asante. in this sweet prayer of our mm. i say thank you jesus thank for you. answering our prayers mm. thank you messiah thank you, thank you messiah thank you thank you yeshua thank you, thank you raboni thank, thank you lord thank, thank you, you shama thank, thank you rohi hey. thank you jesus asante. hey asante asante yesu mm. Gaina money na bibili gaina money ana e. Yo zalaki e komba masia. O pesi e samuele nanguya na yo. Le kata e treviva. Mavandi na kiti na yo zambe. Bazali kota tola yo samo santue. Kumama. Eh ya we. Tika na yembe la yo yesu. Santu Tika yesu. na sanzo la yo nzambe nanga. Kinyeke ruko kongo yede keleji kujwe mamule yesu. raiba la jope. Hey! Na liziba ya bethesa yo pikiza mamelie. Hey! Papa na nyoko kanina yo. Yo le kingu ya. Hey! Asante. Yo mo pikiza mamelie. Chongi joba rafae. Ay, lobo kona yo mokusete, holo binini ya we. Ay, nasengi na mimele, mwasi ya kota nga makila. Asimbaki, elambana yesu aswa ke lobiko. Asante baba, tunakushuku kwa ele ambu umetupangia mbae unimimu. Ya we, ya we, ya we nanga ye. Papa, holo bini nye ye ye ye. Na sengi na bibilia, na ina mwoni ana ye. Oya zalaki ya komba masia, hopesi ya samwele na mwia na yo. Yonde kolo ya mana ye, hopesa kaba mwata ye. Pesa na bawo ya bazangi, boba kumiza ye. Na kima wapi ye, na pata mawapi ishilo. Asante Yesu, asante. Na komina loko la jona sinalibu moya nisi ye. Asante wana kuwa naenda kuonja raba ya wokovu. Kuna kuwa naenda kuonja raba ya kukutafuta. Yesu ye. Anaenda kuona raba ya kukutafuta. Ndiyo buwana. Asante. Asante mtakatifu. Najua komba siku ya leo baba. Kuna wale wataimba vile ni mekuimbia. Kuna wale wataimba wimbo ya sifa. Mm. Kuna wale umebadilisha baba. Mm. Vilio vyao vimekuwa ni wimbo ya sifa mbele zako. Asante, Asante mtakatifu. Tunakuabudu, mm. tunakuenzi, mm. tunakuheshimu, 
tunakuinua tunakupenda ah, ah rafiki Asante. wa kweli nani kama wewe hakimu mkuu baba mzuri hey. baba wa mbinguni mm. anayetupenda nani kama wewe Hakuwa kama baba waovu wanaweza kupeana watoto wao zile vitu ambazo hey. wanawaomba je wewe baba mm. si utapeana mm kile kitu ambacho watoto wako wanakuomba mm. si utapeana amani si utapeana pesa si utapeana ndoa si utapeana watoto mm. kwa wale ambao wanaomba mm. asante Mungu wetu tunakuinua baba tunakuheshimu yawe mm. tunakuheshimu baba tunakupenda Mungu wetu asante. asante kwa kututumia asante watu ambao walikuwa wanaonekana kuwa ni kitu bure mm. umetuheshimisha machoni pa wanadamu umefanya dunia kujua Baba winuliwe Uwe na utukuzwe na utukuzwe baba mm. utukuzwe milele mm. wasio kujua wapate kukujua mm. na wanao kujua waendelee kukujua mm. katika njia yako Mungu wangu mm. Asante Mungu wetu Asante. We bless your name. We, bless We thank you, you Lord. Mm. Thank you for this sweet hour. Thank I know you. God you have blessed your people. Mm. Thank you Lord for allowing us also to have this wonderful opportunity mm. in your presence. Mm. It is not in vain mm. and we do not take it for granted. Mm. It's a privilege. Mm. We honor you God mm. for you have honored us oh my father mm. to be in your presence. Mm. We thank you Jesus. Mm. We magnify your name. Mm. Our Lord Jesus you remain to be our friend, our brother, our God, mm. our Savior. Mm. our sisters mm. our mothers you mm. remain to be all in all mm. for us mm. our destiny helper mm. our destiny changer mm. our miracle worker mm. thank you lord thank you we bless you for it is in jesus name mm. we pray trusting and believing amen amen amen, amen. 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 thank you my sister thank you and uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and, and the, the love, love of God, God and, and the, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. So we believe that God has done it in advance. You have already received your blessings. You have already received your salvation and may you stay with happiness, stay with the peace of the Lord. For the peace of the Lord brings life and a sound mind. If you have the peace of the Lord in your life, then you have conquered it all. Without peace, then you'll be nothing. But with peace, you are with God, you are with his angels, and more above all, the word of God is going to bring peace in your life, in your prayer life, and in everything that you want God to do for you. So, let us leave you with a word of peace, shalom, because our God, his name is Shalom. Have peace in Jesus' name. Amen.